Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this deck guide video, I'm going to take a look at Broom Paladin. Broom Paladin is one of the best decks in the game right now. Even more so now that Ramp Paladin was just nerfed. Of course, we don't really know what sort of decks will be best after the nerf, the meta is still working itself out. This Broom Paladin list that I played, I picked this from Aegis Reply, this was the best performing Broom Paladin list right before the Ramp Paladin nerf. But we're already seeing some indications that maybe a little bit of different decking might be in order. Be that as it may, I played this deck right after Ramp Paladin nerf and I had great success with this, I actually won every game that I played. Because yeah, Broom Paladin is just really, really strong. As long as you can bear to listen, hey loser, hey loser, hey loser from your Penflingers over and over again. Penflinger is one of the key cards for this deck, because you can discount your Liberum of Wisdom to cost zero mana, and then you can play Penflinger and Liberum of Wisdom and... You can just keep repeating those things and there will be so many Benflingers going everywhere. You can also change the health of enemy minions to one with your Liberum of Justice or the health of all minions to one with Lord Barrow. And that of course opens up even more opportunities to Benflinger more minions. One of the more recent inclusions into Broom Paladin is Crab Rider, a card that I used very successfully in Aggro Paladin earlier. And I still like it in this one too. Any Paladin deck where you can just buff your minions. Crab Rider is such a fun card. You can play it on two, it can usually trade away some minions, sometimes you get to play it later with some buffs, sometimes it survives that turn to play and then you can buff it afterwards, just a game changer. It's a little early to say what is the best Prune Paladin list after the Ramp Paladin nerf, but the early indications are that maybe Argent Braggart is not that necessary anymore. Having Argent Braggart Liberum of Justice used to be really good, because in Ramp Paladin matchup you could get some big minions for yourself, but right now there are fewer big minions in the meta, so the value of Argent Braggart is going down, and we're seeing some indications of lists that replace the Braggarts with Loot, Horror and Liberum of Judgment performing really well, so that's something that you could try. As for the mulligans with this deck, you really want to get on the board early. First day of school, other attendant, excellent cards give you some one drops to get on the board. And if you have some of these, you can give stuff like Hand of Adal so that you can get one drop and then on turn two you can buff it. Statistics are also showing that Crab Rider is a good keep even alone. Because Crab Rider with its rush ability, even if you miss your one drop, then you get on the board on two and you can swing the board back and you can start playing the game. Now, let's go take a look at Broom Paladin in action. And if you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my Twitch for a livestream Hearthstone. Get your Platinum 1. I think I need to do first day of school here. Even though it would have been nice to do first day of school later. The pen flinger. <laughs> it's a Malagas Druid. Many, many ways to lose a lot of games. Crab time. Wee wee. Look at me, I'm a little crab. How do you investigate win rates of decks that are not popular? Well, if you can't find any of those decks anywhere, then you can't investigate their win rates. I suppose it really is that simple. I have to use the Hand of Adal here. I need to find more tools. I need to play another minion on the sport too. But this droid is soon going to go off with some Gibellings or something. Well, they're not going to go off with Gibellings. That gives me one more turn. That's exactly the card, kind of card that I need here. Not the Librum, no. I guess I can also do this one. That wasn't too great though. Kind of hoping to pick up something more. I need to play this crap right around the sport now. That one needs to go face. Now with inner rates, lightning bloom Street can get to do things. I have nine damage on the board. I'd need another seven. How do I get another seven damage? I mean, that's only another 4 damage there. Sadly, I just don't have it here. 
So I have to do it with this. Take an arbor up next turn, right? We need to take an arbor up next turn. That means that one of these can kill this crab rider. Or I could kill both of them now. Now, this has to push that 6 damage to the face here. I should have drawn first. Would that have changed anything? No. But it could have. There was, there was a world in which that could have changed something. I don't think there was a world in which drawing first would have changed something. It just wasn't this world. It's something like this. Pen flinger over there. Elder attendant. Keeper of Wisdom on the Attendant. Put the Penfinger back into my hand. Then it's the Devout Pupil. I could put another buff on the Attendant, right? No, but I want it on the Pupil. I want this buff on the Pupil and I want to kill that one. I should be in the clear. Probably could have done this better. I need to draw first with the Crab Rider. But, hmm, well, Crab Riders are good. Yeah, I think these are the cards that I want to keep here. Let's see. Double Pen Flingers, really? It's probably not strong enough, that's the problem. It's probably just not strong enough. Let's just hope that that's not a hand of a doll. That was the turn one draw. And then there is a Libram. Oh, I have a Libram too. Bit of hate loser in there. I could kill this. There's still one card that was kept in the hand, but killing that would cost me the coin. And that will cost me the coin. And that's not fun. But I, I think I have to do it like this, because there's still a chance that they had... That could still be a hand of a doll, and they just chose not to use it. And then this way I don't give them a target for it. And that's important. Can't get rid of the Crab Rider, sadly. Need to start dealing some damage to it anyway. Okay, now I can kill the Crab Rider. And I do want to kill it. Here, piggy piggy. Let's kill the Crab Rider. But I'm in such a terrible position here. It's really hard to see how I can actually, actually win this game. There's still that one card that was kept in hand as well. Oh dear. I need to use the pen flingers to maximum effect. Try to use them to kill some stuff from this board. But I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this will be enough. I can't get to a position where I could use the blessings. I'm just in I'm just in so much trouble. Oh that was awesome. 
This will force me to play the barrel. Because I can't let them keep drawing cards. Yeah, that's very unhappy. But I can't let them draw cards. Them drawing more cards than I do, it's just a disaster for me if that happens. Barrow is of course going to be killed here, but... And it's not looking good by any means. I just can't get to a position where I could use my blessings. I could put them on the enemy minions, but those minions are not really worth stopping. There might be a world in which I get that devout people going. That still might happen. It's unlikely, but it could happen. That's the way it goes. Okay, so far so good. This time I get to do a pen flinger. And another pen flinger. I get to play this devout pupil. And I can play the Libram on that. And now, if they don't have Barrow or Libram of Justice in hand, then this might actually get to live long enough to use Blessing of Wisdom on it. But at this point, they should have one of the board clear spells or minions. There are three in the deck. This seems like an exact mirror. So I don't expect to be able to Blessing of Wisdom that one. It's only two pen flingers away from dying if they have a thing that sets its health to one. Alternately, they could have the broom. That could also do things. But if this is everything, then I just pen flinger that one twice. I want to draw, I mean, I want to draw two cards. I'm thinking whether I use the pen fingers to go face here. Whether I just draw two cards and see if there's something that I can use for three mana. What would that be? Like a solid head sprite or something. That would be perfectly acceptable. I'll just do both blessings here. Face with this. I get to play an attendant here. I, cannot wait to read this. I don't have to play the Hand of Adal. Hand of Adal can still be played next turn. So hero powering is better. Okay. They have so many cards. Why are none of them worth playing in their opinion? I don't understand why they don't want, like playing their cards. Is this a Liberum of Justice turn? Then I have only one hard removal spell left. I think it might be, anyway. To actually play the Truth Seeker first, and this one cost one. I can do that. Reduce the cost of this to one. This can go face. I'll play this. That one trades there. These are going to the face. I hit face with the weapon too. Draws a couple of cards. I'm at six cards. Okay. But they will use a Libram or they will use the Barrow soon. They just have felt that it's not worth it yet. But eventually they will come to the conclusion that it starts to be worth it. Or they haven't found any. But what are all those cards if they haven't found any good stuff? It's not really possible. Yeah, they have the barrow the whole time. They just felt that it wasn't important enough to use. That will draw them the other broomstick. And potentially a braggart. <laughs> Hit face. Hitting face is always a good plan, isn't it? That's 
a free devout pupil. Those are fun. Let's go pen flinger there. So going to pen flinger there. I'm playing the free devout pupil. But they have some argent braggarts, don't they? Don't necessarily want to have really huge minions on this board. This can draw braggarts and broomsticks. I think I would rather just buff that one a little. I hate playing with these pen flingers though. Like this. This is how we play with the pen flingers. Okay. Couple of minions out there. But if they can get another Libra of Hope and some Braggarts on the board. And I have only one Libra of Justice left in my deck. That could be a problem. They also have the other Broomstick available. I'm aware of the other Broomstick. Okay, and then it's the broomstick. Yes, but I saw that coming. That was no surprise. They have two pen fingers, two unknown cards. But they will have two librams from here, so they will always be able to deal a bunch of damage with the pen fingers. And I have only one libram of wisdom myself. I could spend one broomstick. That's kind of acceptable. I got broom hero power. Trade there with the broom. This goes face. So this way, when I play the breakout like that, I got the breakout to be a 7-5, and I got this to be a 2-5. But I haven't seen any of their Librams of Justice yet, so they still have two Librams of Justice left. They still have another Braggart left as well. And of course those two pen flingers. Whereas I have only one Libram of... I have only one Libram of Wisdom in circulation, and they have two. So they're able to deal twice the damage. The pen flingers. Probably haven't played enough yet to make Liadrin lethal either. Do they now have to sacrifice one pen flinger? It looks like they may have to, yeah. Two hits over there. Handles that one. Okay. We get rid of one pen flinger. That's something. We get rid of two pen flingers. That was unexpected. No more pen flingers for the opponent. Okay, that's cool. We just keep hay loser in here. I'm hay losing as fast as I can. And now I get the hay loser, they're hay losers. Also get to have an archer their face a little. Yeah, that's totally fine. The secret keeper out there. Hero power a little bit. Libram of Wisdom, maybe that one, one over there. Get the Halosers back into hand and then swing with the weapon. Alright. 
I don't know how long this will continue. I was like 8,000 last season. Do I have lethal damage? Ragat becomes an 8, then it kills that one. Yeah. That one goes there. And it's Argent Breakout time. I must have slain one hundred or so. And the broomstick. This one goes over there. Freeze up the Librum. This can go face. I can play the Librum on one of these minions. Breakout trades that away. And these are going face. I believe this is the way. Okay. They have... They have both of Librams of Justice left. They have one Libram of Hope left. But they don't have Benfingers anymore. They don't have Broomsticks anymore. So I don't think they survive a Libram of Justice play. Do they survive it? Liberal of Justice and Liadrin. They actually will survive this. I thought it was going to be lethal. Did I get too many of these blessings? Was there what's the more Librans of Wisdom in left? I think there were more Librans of Wisdom left, and I just got both blessings and the hand. I'm not completely certain though. Either way. I mean, it was guaranteed lethals with the flingers afterwards because there was no way for them to heal up again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.